In this playlist, we will learn how we can use Microsoft SQL Server with Python. By watching the videos in order, you can get all the information you need about Python and SQL Server. We will also design GUI applications using Python Custom Kinter in each project. In the first video, we will learn how to connect and create a database. We will design this GUI application using Python Custom Kinter. There are entry, button, and label objects in the application. After entering a database name in the entry object, we can try to connect or create a database using the buttons. Currently, there are only system databases in SQL Server. I am trying to connect to a database named Turtle. The error message was shown in the label object. Because there is no database named Turtle, Let's create the database by clicking the Create button. Database has been created. By clicking the Refresh button, we can see the newly created database. We can connect to the newly created database by clicking the Connect button. The connection was made successfully. We will remake the project with you. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. We will use the PODBC library to connect Python and SQL Server. You can transfer the PODBC library with this code. I import the PODBC library. I create a variable for the connection. I can connect to SQL Server by sending the necessary parameters to the connect function. I add SQL Server as driver. This is how you can find the server name in SQL Server. We can use any of the system databases as database. You can see the system databases here. I will try to connect to the master database. I will connect to SQL Server with Windows Authentication. I can set the trusted connection option to yes. Finally, I will print a text indicating that it is connected to the database to the console with print. The connection was completed successfully. I am trying to connect to a database that is not in SQL Server. The connect function showed an error on the console screen. There may be a connection problem due to the parameters sent to the connect function or SQL Server. It is useful to use the try except method for situations where errors may occur. In cases where there is an error, we can show different information other than the error message. I add the codes to the try section. I can reach the error by using the error function in the accept section. We can also publish any message we want here. Instead of showing the entire error message, we can show the error message we specified. It will still give an error because the database name does not exist in SQL Server. But the error message is shown only as we specified. Or we can also show the system error message. Now let's try to create a database. We will run create database SQL using the execute function. Executed SQLs must remain at a stable point in the database. This is called the commit point. We can set the auto commit option to true so that the commit function is used after each SQL statement. Now I run the create database command using the execute function. Using the print function, I indicate to the console screen that the database has been created. I am correcting the database name.
database has been created. We can see the created database by clicking the refresh button. Now let's create a database with the name entered by the user. I am creating a variable. I can ask the user to enter a value using the input function. I will use the variable in the execute function using the format property. I am trying the application. I'm trying to create a database called turtle. It gave an error because it already had a turtle database. I am trying to create a database with a different name. By clicking the refresh button, I can see the newly created database. Now I will create a GUI application using Python custom kinter. I can transfer the custom kinter library with this code. I turn all commands into comments. I will use these commands in a moment. I import the custom kinter library. I set the view mode to system. I set the default color theme to blue. I create a variable for the window. I adjust the window size using the geometry function. I am adjusting the window title. I use the main loop function to prevent the program from closing suddenly. I created an empty window. I will create an entry object for the database name. I send the database name and text variables to the entry function. I add the entry object to the window using the place function. I will create a button for create. I send the window variable, text, command function and color values to the button function. I add the button object to the window using the place function. For now, I define the task function with pass. The button I created for create has been added to the window. I will create a button for connect. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. I'm creating the task function with pass for now. The button I created for connect has been added to the window. Finally, I will create a label object. Information about the database connection will be given in the label object. I send the window name and text variables to the label function. I add the object to the window using the place function. The label object has been added to the desktop window. 
Now I will edit the task functions. I need the codes that I convert into comment lines. First, I edit the connect function. Instead of the master database, I will connect to the database entered by the user in the entry object. I can access the value entered into the entry object with the get function. I don't need the input function. I also delete execute and auto commit. I will edit the label object instead of the print command. I can do this using the configure function. I will indicate whether the connection is successful or not in the label object. I make the necessary edits in the try and accept sections. Let's take a look at the databases in SQL Server. There are Turtle and Turtle Code databases. I am trying to connect to the Turtle database. Successfully connected to the database. Let's try to connect to the Turtle Code database. Successfully connected to the database. I'm trying to connect to a database that doesn't exist. The error message is shown in the label object. Now I will edit the create function. I can copy and paste. I can connect to any database to create a database. I am connecting to the master database. I set the auto commit function to true. The commit function will be run automatically after each execute function. I will run the create database command in the execute function. For the database name, I will use the value entered by the user in the entry object. I can access the value in the entry object by using the get function. I make the necessary adjustments in the configure function. I am deleting databases in SQL Server. I'm testing the app now. I'm trying to connect to the Turtle database. Turtle gave an error because it did not have a database. I create the Turtle code database by clicking the Create button. Database has been created. I can see the database in SQL Server. I can connect to the database I created by clicking the Connect button. The connection was completed successfully. When I try to connect to a database that does not exist, the error message is shown in the label. I'm trying to create a different database. Database has been created. I am trying to connect to the database. The connection was completed successfully. In the next video, we will learn how to create a table in the database. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.